Well, this week is the perfect time to celebrate the dark sky while learning more about bats and birds. And it's all happening in your community with the Champaign County Forest Preserve District. Oh, yes. This, Someone's talking this, to us. This segment is sponsored by our friends at Carriage Crossing. We Lisa like Sprinkle it. is here with us now. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. How are Hi, you? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. It sounds like um, this week especially... A very, very busy week for you guys. It is a very busy week, and it's International Dark Sky and Champaign County Dark Sky Week. So we're very excited. Um, obviously, the sky is one of our natural resources that we have. So we have the only International Dark Sky Park in Illinois, and it's right here in Champaign County at Middle Fork River Forest Preserve in Gifford, Penfield area. Um, so you don't have to go up there to see it, but we obviously encourage a lot of people to go up and see the dark sky. Um, we have some different programs. A lot of our programs this year obviously are still virtual. So you can get on to our Facebook page or even the um, Champaign County Audubon Society's Facebook page and see different programs that they have going on. You've actually got an activity guide to like download? We do. Okay. We do. We have why, activity. Why would we need that? Um, it just gives information about dark skies, like why is it important, how does it affect me, what does it mean to be a dark sky, um, light pollution, the effects that it has on wildlife, effects that it has on humans. Um, Sound like a good learning experience. Exactly, and then we have some fun, just a little activities and yeah. things for um, children. And then tonight, so. there's specifically an activity, and I think all week long, we've sort of got things going on. Tonight has to do with bats. Yes. Tonight, the Champaign County Audubon Society is sponsoring a Bats of Illinois. Um, so it's a Zoom meeting again. You can get on our website um, and see that under the International Dark Sky page. And then tomorrow night, we have um, Dave Leak is talking about light pollution. Um, so those are two that, I mean... All the nights are good, but those are two that we'll highlight. Two of your favorite child. Yes. Okay. I know we just celebrated Easter. Are the Easter eggs still out? Yes. Or they will be out till May 14th. Ooh. Okay. Um, at some point, they will probably all be moved. No, I'm not even going to say that because I don't remember if he said they were or not. Last year, they moved them all into the garden, but I think he said that they weren't oh. doing that. But yes, there are 36 Ooh. eggs out that you can find at five different. Preserves. Um, they're at all of our preserves. They're not at on the Kickapoo Rail Trail, or they're not at Heron View Forest Preserve, which is the newest one. Okay. Is Waldo there? The it is Waldo. Like it. Where's Waldo? I found, I found a bunch out at Homer Lake. None of those, so I know I need did to Did you find the golden else. egg? I did not find a golden egg. So this egg. golden egg, it's at Lake of the Woods, and it will be moving around. And if people find it, they can send an email to HQ at CCFPD with a picture of it, and then they get entered into a drawing for a gift package from the Forest Preserve. I need to go on a hunt. That one blends in a little bit better it than does. Waldo and a few of the other eggs, I yeah. think, so it might be it a little harder to find. Yes. Those are fun. Okay, and it was always fun when you spotted one, too, and then, of course, I had to Instagram it for... Of course. For, you know, That's what we want proof. people to do. Yes. Okay, we've also got an event coming up on Friday, Prairie Skies. Did we already talk about this one? No, that's part of the Dark Skies, and that is with Starkle Planetarium. Um, oh. Since they can't, that's one of their normal programs that they do um, out at the planetarium. So now it, it's, again, a Zoom meeting that you can just go and click in on and watch that and see Ooh. what the skies are like. we got to talk summer camps. Yes. I know we're about out of time. Yes, but we, we actually that are getting to have in-person summer camps this year. They will be Yay. smaller than they have been in the past, and there's a waiver that you have to fill out. But, again, you can go on our website and see. Um, if you're still not comfortable with that, we also have camps in a bag um, for $10, kind of what we did last year. Um, so you can get the different camps, see the different bags. There's um, a couple... I don't even remember get what the they same are. experience. But yes, you can get the same bag. experience. Quite honestly, <laughs> if I'm going to have to choose camping outside or camping in the bag, I'm going to choose the bag <laughs> every time. I love that. It nature. is not it's that camp. kind of camp. Oh, it's, okay. it's camp, but yes. our campground is open. Yes. So it opened April 1st, so you can go online and make reservations and come stay out at Middle Fork at the campground and check out the dark skies. Well, there Winter you go. It's an amazing place during the daytime. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing at night. <laughs> you have to come out and see the dark skies. I, I, if yeah. I can go and then and then go back to my air-conditioned Yes, home. camper? Yes. No. Oh, no, not even camper. <laughs> well, it looks like there's a lot of fun things happening with Champaign County Forest Preserve District and we'll have all that information on CILiving.tv in case you want to whip out the canoe, Tim. 
We yes, got I'll spots for that, too. Dust that right off <laughs> in the garage. Hopefully the weather cooperates for everything happening with the dark sky week here. Lisa, Thanks, thank Lisa. you. Thank you. Appreciate it. A little bit later.